Kyoto, Kyoto, howdy, hi. Alright. Oh no, I've got the camera set so it looks like a skull portrait. No, but everything farts, right? Like we, we, we googled the insects fart and that was the day we found out that a lot of insects don't actually have buttholes or mouths but I don't want to ruin that for you but it's just dead but some do fart I've never heard it called an audible fart if they don't have buttholes then how well they just don't fart they just fart with their minds I think yeah dude yeah yeah it all comes out yeah and that's really why I farted around Lexi the other day. <laughs> I like TikToks. This is awful, but like I like TikToks of people farting in front of their cats and dogs and they'd be like, whoo, jumping. I do like that. Almost as much as I like um, the ones of birds swearing. It's like, it's up there. It's up there. It's like nice content. They don't do all super stinks. You'd think that they would stink considering what they eat. Yeah, this is so good. When dogs do like, you know when dogs do like the whoop? And they like, they like look side to side and they're like confused on like what what's going on. They do that when like someone fires at them. So funny. And the tendencies of a magpie. <laughs> oh yeah, honestly, fair enough. Fair enough. A wild hunt sailed aboard the Nagel Fair, a giant long ship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone. An Horse farts are the least offensive farts in the world. They're so inoffensive, but so funny. I say horse farts are probably the funniest. They always make that comedic sound. It's like a pop. Sorry, I grew up around horses. <laughs> I'm a crazy horse girl. Um, but they'll, yeah, jump around and they get scared by their fart and they do more farts and it's like, oh, it's they're great yeah pop 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 they're right on the back side <laughs> oh skelliage isles so what we we're up to last time oh please let me know if my audio is okay hang on i'm live on youtube and i just realized twitch chat isn't showing so they they like probably think i'm just like fucking sitting here talking about farts myself <laughs> Like, what do you mean? It's like, what is she talking to? What? Am I, what? <laughs> See, I'm not crazy. You're a tear, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> I've got friends. <laughs> you don't remember the last time a bird shat on you? I vividly remember when I got, last time I got shat on by a bird was during the Mel what's it called Melbourne Open? What's the tennis? Tennis? Was it fucking tennis? Melbourne likes tennis, right? Anyway, it's working event management and I was not at the Melbourne tennis, but I was doing a function thing outside. There was a pop-up tennis thing at Darling Harbour and I had just started work and a bird shat on my head. Terrible. Do you have any tuts with horses? Yes. I feel like she's already told you this. Don't ever walk behind them. If you have to, make sure they know you're there to like touch them and if they're comfortable with that. Hang on, I have a big cough. Um, they communicate through their ears. So if their horse's ears are way back, it means they're pissed off. Yeah, they will literally talk through their ears. So this, angry. This, alert. They're paying attention. This, paying attention. This is all good. This, bad. They, they're they very skittish. I feel like you'd know that. Um, yeah, just don't ever, don't ever walk behind them because they get scared and they could kick you in the head. And yeah, not good, not safe. Yeah. They're, they're harmless. They're so peaceful. They're beautiful animals. It's very uh, super secret late night stream. We're doing horse facts right now. 
a bad shot on my car one day the other day. Good luck? Maybe good luck. I like get over it for it to be here too. You had a bird called Squirtle? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I vividly remember getting stung by blue bottles at Bondi Beach. And then getting carried out like so many blue bottles as a kid. I got fucking stung real bad. And then I was getting picked up by my parents in the Bondi Beach Rescue were like looking after me. And then my sister was like, huh, I'll make a sand angel to cheer me up. And it did because she accidentally, when she was doing a sand angel, picked up the world's hairiest poop. It was like this dog must have just eaten someone's hair. Um, and then she accidentally picked it up and then immediately after a bird pooped on it and it was the funniest thing. It was so funny. And then I was fine, but also I was in a lot of pain because of blue bottles. So I vividly remember that. <laughs> It's crazy. I, I can think of a few times I've been set on by a bird. I mean, chickens, having chickens as a pet doesn't count. I mean, like a bird in the sky. It's like, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. A fair few times. Um, so, what we're doing tonight is... This is a cave. We're going to some elven ruins with Philippa Eilhart. She's a sorceress. Sorcerer, sorcerer, sorcerer. She, um, she used to date, like, she's had some really awful <laughs> boyfriends. <laughs> like, high up. Like, she knew people, but, like, they weren't good. She dated the king, who was crazy. And then she dated Dextra, who was also, uh, not good. Um, one of them, something awful happened, and one of them pulled out her, oh, I think it was the king, and that's why she's got Just this wonderful. ribbon. I see. Look at this. But she's she's really funny. I really like her. She's not funny. She's just... She, she, I like her. Let's go. She's really sarcastic, and that's what makes it funny. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Zogafords did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting. But I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damned thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> is that a bird? No, oh, yeah, go away, seagulls. Like it's it's a coming a long, long night. Oh, just miss me. Just miss me. Too fast for y'all. Thank you, Luke. Thanks for the biddies. <laughs> yeah, it was literally like a hairy poo. It was so hairy. Because, like, oh, my God, not to trauma dump, but sometimes, like, my cat, she, like, swallows on your head. Like, my hair's by accident. And then when she goes to poop, this is really awful. She'll go to poop and it's, imagine like a tampon of like poop and hair. And then obviously it like freaks her out. So she like runs around the house. It was that, but like so much hair. It was crazy. Like I vividly remember this. Like I was maybe four years old, but I will never forget. Yeah, just <laughs> ill from laughing. I love a good laugh like that. <laughs> Taking notes. <laughs> oh yeah, fair enough, panics. I think going caving would be amazing. It would be like going into another world, and I I understand it like the. Ex oh. I understand the fun of you know like we've all fucking been everywhere like humans been everywhere so going somewhere where maybe no one else has been before kind of cool kind of exciting um but yeah it could not be me could not be me i would not go caving oh yeah i've seen the descent i've seen too much mr ballin on youtube yeah right panics i'm not claustrophobic but like 
it gets me. I can't, I, I can't imagine, yeah, if you cross your absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, but there's a thing over here that I need. That's scary. Yeah, it's really loud, wasn't it? It's very nice. What is this? What? She was just like fucking in front of a freaking bicycle. What are ya? What are you doing? Huh? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh! Three hundred movie lady. Gosh, I haven't seen that in ages. Guys with the Spartans, real. Hmm. So how do we get up the, the stairs? I'll fix them right away. How did she know there was no stairs if she's blind? With peace, love, and respect and curiosity. Ready. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. Yeah. Oh, God. Thing. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Siri. But eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a five sum, there's clearly no room. <laughs> oh, Lena! Beautiful. She's gorgeous. So they're real. I like Philippa. Ooh. Oh God! Is she doing that? Who's doing that? Come on! Come on, Eileen! Do you want to do that? Like they just say a random thing, and it just makes you think of a song. I don't have any alcohol. I love Star Trek though. Oh my god. We're gonna need more honeycomb. You do it as well. So we're quite late game, my Linders. And the Yennefer cosplay hasn't arrived yet. So I'm thinking I'm going to do my second one soon. The one that I can do with what I have. We have the DLC still. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. Oh, look at that! Change. Oh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlin of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? <laughs> the dog goes through his crutch. <laughs> Oh, the whole thing. There you are. Oh. 
A word that someone says. Must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? What? No. Really? Sorry, wait. Huh? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> to hash it out with Yennefer. You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her. So once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Redania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. What's your plans, girl? We going? Doing well! Yeah, very secret, very secret. I'm glad the uh you, you got the carrier pigeon. How do we get bacon? Let's drink it. Yeah, what if we put some bacon in a blender? Yeah. You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I, I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Amir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> this deal with Amir. It's sorcerer's business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. I just realize her rubbing over her. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. Eye socket says eyes. You know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Explore the elven ruins. Oh. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion. A ridiculous bauble. <laughs> you made me laugh. So Tuning mean. into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Watch this. Arahan Luma! Ew! Yuck! With respect. Yeah. The sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors. Oh no! Oh god, no, this is the first time we've come across a puzzle in this game. No, oh, oh god. Oh no. I don't like puzzles. Not a feeling. <laughs> so you like them, not when I'm live. So this is Philippa. She's a baddie. She's a sorceress. She's really sarcastic and funny. So fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. She talks like she's from the royal family. Like just her voice acting, not what she says. Um, I recommend the Alpine Air of Nazaire. Empress got plans here, I'm sure of it. Um, if this is a warning for her, I'm gonna give her a warning. You gotta look after her. Emperor's got plans for you, I'm sure. Stop playing the jester and listen to. Look away, lovely. I hope you had a good stream. Yennefer's meteoric Take care, enjoy. It's really nice to see you. It's always nice to see you. I'm not interested in reviving the lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because. If I know even one bit, 
I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Siri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. You want to take Yen's place beside M higher. Emir? Take Yen's place at Emir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. Any other words of wisdom? Or can we go? You may go. I know you've things to do. Woo! Oh my gosh, yeah, she's an owl. How's, um, the Golem game? Does it have any redeeming? Do you all remember the Golem game that came out? Oh my gosh, maybe like a year and a bit ago. It was like the worst game of the year, allegedly. How is it? Because you just got it because you want to know how shit it is, right? Because it's just such a weird concept. Like, you know, Gollum's a good Lord of the Rings character. But I don't understand why he deserves his own game. <laughs> Not to be a bitch. Um, though, speaking of Lord of the Rings, there's a Hobbit. A cozy Hobbit game coming out. You know, like a farming sim. Oh! Six dollars. Yeah. I like that. Oh, snow. Actually, no, snow's not good. It means maybe the wild hunt. Or maybe it's just fucking cold. <laughs> Is it the demon? Is it cold? Is it winter? What's going on? Oh my God. I just realized how fucking, I don't know how that happened or how long it's been like that. But my audio has been so quiet on the game. I'm so sorry. Thank God no one farted. You wouldn't have heard it. There we go. Sorry. I think maybe that happens when I went offline. No idea. Gosh, I would have been so loud. My fucking voice. This is lovely. It's a thing. Next game we play has to be a really good game. Because, like, this game is so good. I mean, like, really good. Because, like, we tried to play... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> tried to play this. I think something's wrong. I just can't get into this. I know Nick was playing this. A bunch of my mates have been streaming it. But I just... Yeah, I just... Every other game we've got going at the moment, I'm just going to compare it to Witcher, which is so bad. I just couldn't get into it. Do you all see that tweet now and then of what's the Octa Daddy, Davy Jones in Pirates of the Caribbean, oldest shit movie? It's from like 2006. Do you all see like the tweet where it's like, how was this so good in 2006 when like CGI was apparently, which was being around longer than that? Oh. But then they compare it to like CGI now. Genuinely want to know why it, how it was so good. Did they have like a budget, or did they just not cut corners back then? But mate, every time I see that fucking octopus dad on Twitter, I go, "Holy shit!" Man, he looks good. I think it's got to do with cutting corners. David Jones. Do you remember when they cut corners on Sonic in that movie? And everyone lost it and there was the conspiracy that it was deliberate to get more clout. And more people would know about the movie. <laughs> yeah. There was those who bullied and those who like, yeah, thought it was deliberate. <laughs> it's like when um, parents... <laughs> 
parents give their kids like a shit present and they un they unwrap it and we're like oh it's a potato but then like they got their real present hey thanks for the follow the one where he was really hairy wait when was davy jones hairy oh my god do you remember when mr mine mr mine was hairy in um uh detective pikachu do you remember when they released Detective Pikachu, the fucking trailer, and everyone was losing their mind over Mr. Mime's baby hair on the top of his head? Oh, Sonic! Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. I, I, obviously, yeah. <laughs> you don't get a hairy octopus. <laughs> hairy Jones! <laughs> yeah, you all remember hearing Mr. Mime head. Yeah, the, the textures of Pokemon, I don't know why I just like expected them all to feel like a balloon. So when Mr. Mime had like peach fuzz, which is so valid, I just, I was shocked. Or that when fucking Pikachu wasn't a balloon, she, she and they would just, uh, they, the mouse makes sense, makes sense. But like, I just imagine them all being like a balloon. Yeah. He was so cursed. This month, hell yeah. It affects pretty quick. Yeah, right? Mm. Yeah, those are the times. Davy Jones and Mr. Mime. Love it. Any quests or anything here? There's nothing. Hmm. Drink last night too. The Matrix. Not worth shite if a no weak arm swing is it still good? Nucky, nor that witch, There's still good action scenes. <gasps> this is fucking He's nice. Look at this. And mother and oh my god. Oh my god. Matrix, was this CGI in Matrix? I remember watching the first one maybe a few years ago and just being really impressed by their glasses. They all had really cool guy glasses. I thought, fuck, I wish I was a cool guy. I wish I could, I could, you know, pull off influence uh, quirky glasses. The, the lady in it? Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. Trixie? Mm, no. Trinity. Wow. Batty. Mm. Is that the actor's name? Ka Carrie. His surname is Moss? What a fucking cool surname. M Miss Moss. Miss Moss to you. You doing over there? Do you know who I am? I'm Miss Moss. To you. What is that? You don't know what I'm looking at. Oh God! I'm dying. So I like that. We need some fucking dried fruit. Holy fuck. It is not good, my lenses. They're quite colorful, aren't they? Oh, right, that one's bloody dead. Oh, I've got to eat my scrub and rinse some my water, and I die. This is a fuck. It's because my, my um, arm is broken. Oh, look, I'm a fighting man. So, that fart. Sorry, if you're new here, we have a lot of farts uh, alerts. And that one is when someone blows a trumpet into some chocolate mousse. And that's the sound it makes. There you go. Thank you. Thanks to the biddies. What's this mysterious place? I'm going to go there. I don't think I've been here before. I also need to... Oh, quick ad break. My bad. Um... Oh, sorry, I forgot what I was doing. I forgot what year it was. I forgot what... Uh, yeah, it was live.
potions. Oh my god, we have better potions? What the fuck? Look at all this! Fucking double... double swallow. <laughs> why they call it that? No, I know why they call it that. It's the bed. Baked cookies is having already gotten into bed. It's such a late night thing, baking, isn't it? Do you all, do you only ever bake like as it's getting a little, a little bit too late? Like maybe 8 p.m. It's like the cusp. But then of course you gotta like double up the recipe and then you know you can only fit so many in your oven. And then all of a sudden it's like fucking, oh my fuck, it's like friggin. <sighs> 11 p.m. midnight and you're, you're baking cookies. Yeah. I did that with muffins recently. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not something you do during the day. You got stuff to do. You know, things. Sometimes when I can't sleep, I watch um, long form content of people in Japan just doing their jobs. In particular, like opening, starting up a bakery point of view, and it'll be like a two hour long video of from start to like the whole process of them baking all their goods. Oh, it's so good. It's just something really therapeutic about it. Classic baking experience. Oh, I love the Witcher. So we're on the D we're not on the DLC yet, Q Dog. I'm near the end. I think I'm near the end of the first uh well the base game. So I'm not gonna touch the DLCs until we finish the base game. But it's so good. Uh, I honestly think it's mm, I think it's one of my favorite games I've ever played. I can barely fault it. I'm getting so many YouTube comments. I do like videos on it as well. And people saying I'm so jealous of people who are experiencing it for the first time. And I know I'm going to feel like that eventually. I mean, like watching people's playthrough is really damn wish that were me. Oh, it's so good. This is nice. How have I never been here before? Can I go in? Kaya Glen. Is it an old witcher training school? You know how there's like House of the Wolf, House of the Cat. Oh, we can go in. Wait, what? Really? Fucking what? Really? For real? Oh! For real? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was cool. Sorry, it's really loud. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even fix my fucking armor. That was my goal, but I was just like, I got distracted. As always. Oh. Oh, there's gonna be a great view. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Great view. <laughs> what the fuck happened? But great view. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Minus the bodies. This is a lovely view. And the crows, kind of terrifying, like foreboding, but also beautiful. I think I'm gonna cry when we reach the credits, like the credit credits. I'm gonna feel so sad and lost. Crows are always a really bad omen in every game. 
I can't think of a single time crows have been a good thing. I do wonder if maybe I'm supposed to be doing a quest for, for this area. Like it, it, it seems like it has a lot of history. Oh my God, what the fuck is that? It's a fucking vampire. Oh, he's fast. You're incredibly fast. I know what you are. Yeah, I feel like there's a story here. So I wonder, oh, there's a night. There's hope relic. Um, I just feel like maybe there was a quest I was supposed to start before I came here is all. But it's still interesting. It's kind of like uh, Last of Us, those games how even if there is no quest, you're just like walking around in the in the game. And it tells a story like people's struggles and their final moments. Just the way they've like placed characters and stuff. It's giving that kind of vibe. Something went down. Don't know what. Oh. Hey, what did we get? Feline steel sword, master crafted. Feline sword, I know. Is this the school of the cat? Surely not. But Kaya, K-A-E-R makes me think. Witcher school. Because I'm pretty sure his, like, Witcher school was called like Kaya Morgan or something. Oh, don't be a trap. Oh my God, what is it gonna do? What did you do? No idea. All right. <laughs> okay, so it's called Kaya Glen. And I need to look at this view. It's one of my favorite sounds. This. The crunching of snow. It's so nice. Oh, that's fucking great. That's fucking beautiful, mate. Hey, thanks for the follow. Hundred percent pure New Zealand. Hundred percent pure Poland. Oh no! So there should be a building down here. I think I've gone a really nutty way though. I'm gonna do a save because like, full damage. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hey, thanks for the biddies. Thanks guys. And the followers. Oh, I should have meditated. Oh fuck. <laughs> Shit! Okay, well that ended... That went better than I thought. I'm gonna meditate here for sunset. Oh, it's setting on that side. It's still pretty though. It's still nice. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. It's quite fun. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in there. What the fuck? Is, fuck. It's a monster den. Do I'm gonna save? I might change my armor just for this. Because it's oh that's an interest that's a nice color, um just because yeah it's damaged. Wow.
wonder what's in here. Oh! A ghouls! Look at them all! Whoa. Oh, it's loud. Sorry, guys. Very loud. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it all of them? <gasps> oh! Is that what they look like? Gosh! It looks almost human. It's really creepy, isn't it? Quite strong, these ones. Is it just the one? Oh, no, there it is. It digs a hole. I was like, where'd it go? Okay, now we're good. So, this place was. I mean, oh, look at that. It was alright, it was fine. No, it sucks. Oh. Harpies are so annoying. You know how like every game has one annoying monster? Like I barely played Pokemon Go. Is that what it's called? The mobile game? Yeah, Pokemon Go. But still the bats. Zubat. Fucking awful. They were just everywhere. You know, like every game just has like a really Show shit. Me what you got. Shit monster that just pisses you off. For Witcher, it's sirens and harpies. Let's get out of here. Mount Moon? Is what's that? Is there a lot of uh, Zubats? Yeah, they're all sad. Oh god. It's getting oh, it's terrible. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna look at the water. And then I'm gonna find a signpost and tell you. I just wanna look at the view. On the edge of the map. Oh! Oh my god, what the? See, like, what? We're just on the edge of the world, and, and look at this. Amazing. It's the first cave you go into in the first Pokemon games. Oh, uh, freaking Zubat cave. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, diamond dust. Let's go look over here. Oh, an apple? A delicious non rotten apple. Thank you. A little bit suspicious. A little bit kooky, but okay. Sure. Oh, yeah, Apple. Hey, what the fuck is that? What is that? Vagina? <laughs> Joe, get out of there! <laughs> An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Oh, it's a skull. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Water. Welcome in. You couldn't have tied that more perfectly. Shit, someone grabbed the bucket, so go and help the veg. <laughs> the 
they sing to each other under the waves? Oh my god, this is kooky! Nature is sure is beautiful. Like, this is so crazy. We were just like, we just, I just thought, oh, maybe there's something cool down here. Let's go down. Let's go have a look on the beach. It's a fucking fanny. <laughs> Hello, Flav. Look at me. What? Drowned dead. Interesting. So drowned dead is different to drown it. Just because you drown doesn't mean you're a drowner. Gosh. Oh, there's a boat. Yeah, we'll take the boat. But first. Wait, the lights are... Oh, they recently... Oh, wait, no, there's someone here. I can hear them. Oh, I'll save you. Where is he? Was I too late? Oh. Oh, he's up there. Is it trap? What do you want from me? What do you mean I just fucking saved your fucking life? Every man on the continent so bloodless. Freya smile upon you. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, alright. Well, I'll keep you to the land, Fanny. Uh, <laughs> carry on. Okay, so we have a fast travel thing at least. So we don't need the boat. What the fuck? Oh my god. What happened to this one? Oh, that's so sad. I feel like looking up right into a whale's eyeball would be like looking into another universe. Be like looking at an alien and you both know that you're both kind of smart, but you can't talk to one another. Gosh. So it must be like a whaling place. It's fucking terrible. What are you doing? Are you killing the whales? Nasty. It's so sad. It's very sad. Oh. I mean, I've been up winds to a dead whale, and I can confirm it is the most intense smell. It hits ya, and my god. And it's just because of the size of it. Okay, so secondary just seems to be Gwen's and her horses. And fisticuffs. And DLCs, which I don't want to deal with. Yet. Young men from the village of Blander have ventured into the nearby mountains to search for silver. It seemed that their expedition had taken an unfortunate turn, however. And the witcher was tasked with uncovering their fate. Go on. Because we're right here. Let's do it. Um, and then we'll carry on with the main quest. Main quest time! Almost. Right, we're going to the mines. We crave the mines, chat. You were there in the cave? 
when the beer bears attacked. What? Greetings, Watcher. Hear about the missing miners. Might be able to help. What happened? Well, we'd heard tales of silver in the northern hills. And seeing as coins needed to ready long ships for raids, we sent a few lads to see how much truth was in the tales. And, well, they've yet to return. Gotta start by searching for them. That'll take time, and drive up costs. Long as they don't soar too high. I can throw in a few crowns more. For the good of our lads. I'll let it stand. Deal. Might not be much silver in the hills, but there are monsters, definitely. I'll see if the miners came across any. Thank you, Watcher. Not too many foreigners in the Isles in the olden days. What are you saying? <laughs> Where does it even come from, that meme? It's in Minecraft? Like, I don't even I don't know where it's from. There she be! Oh, look at the moon! Oh my god. Get down from here, you silly ghost. Silly ghost, silly horse. Get up. Thanks for the follow. I don't remember what it's from. He's dead. Oh, Cyclops. Oh, shit. You know what? I still haven't fixed my armor. Holy shit. Okay, that wasn't as, wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Hmm. Might want to look around some. <laughs> New quest hard times. Hard times. The little roll it did, it was very, not that I know anything about wrestling, the way he like jumped up and stuff, very wrestling. I'm gonna go down here go, and go. look at this um, building first. Oh my god, wait, what happened? Oh, he was in there. Oh god. Walking stone. I learned the other day there are 70 million possums in New Zealand on average. According to a tour guide. 70 million and like how many of us are there like seven million it's a fucking lot of possums that's bad because they're, they're a pest they're not supposed to be here they came over from australia Ow. 70 fucking million i mean you never see like dead possums on the side of the road in australia like it's really rare to see a possum ever anywhere in any life form but over here, like, they're just on the side of the road everywhere. Like, it's so bad. What are you doing? What's going on? Parties. <sighs> yeah. Can you swing an axe? We should ask them, see if they saw anything. What do you see? What's going on? It's like a pilgrimage. Wait, money? <gasps> Wait, what? Are they dying? <laughs> Wait, why are you freaking out? Is it money? Did someone die? I think someone died. <laughs> I didn't do it. I mean, and two dollars is two dollars. You're all gonna die if you don't fucking be careful. Not, it's not a threat. I'm just saying you might break a leg. <laughs> be careful. I won't do it. You're fine. Wait, can you just kill random people? 
I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this serenity. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a gorgeous game. It's a great time of the year. Disturb not the forces of nature. Oh. <laughs> Any boils on their feet? <laughs> Friggin' 2.41 a.m. boils fish. Uh, yeah, I think he's telling them off. They're a little bit fucking loud. Uh, a witcher. Wait, is it because I got my sword out? No. Disturb not the forces of Anyways, <laughs> let's carry on. Gosh, this is stunning though. Footprints. Human. Oh, down here, okay. Wind didn't fell these trees. Something else oh, did. Oh, something came running something through. Big. A bear? Crushed bones. Human bones. No, troll, it's like. gonna be a troll, yeah. Yeah. But, oh, trolls are. Mm. I love the trolls in this game. They're so funny. Have I ever actually fought a troll before? Hey, it looks like he ate people. Oh, I don't want to find him. Chat, can I? Do I have to kill him? Because I, I don't want to. I really like trolls. This might be an odd compliment. Yeah, I don't even. Oh, it's their contacts. I'm wearing contacts today. Yeah. Kill him, thank you. Oh, okay, just leave. Exactly. Why do you wham him? Things in war troll house. Troll say out, man. But they wham a wham troll rocks. So, troll wham too. <laughs> Fair enough. From what you say, they were asking for trouble. I'll let it slide this time. But kill any other humans, and I'll come back and cut off your head. Understand? No. Words are words <laughs> many. Hurt head. Let me try again. Wham a wham man's again. I'll swish a swash a swunk you. Oh. No more troll wham. And this man take for be good man and no swish a swash. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wham wham. No. Words are words many. Oh, this so. Head. Oh, I really like the trolls. Can I loot? Oh. Well, I'm glad. Good outcome. Thank you. Thanks for the help. I always enjoy their dialogue. And when Geralt talks to them. That one who was... He was tasked to look after boats from some Nilf guardians. So he made a fence to barricade the boats to protect them. The problem was, was he made the barricade out of the boats. <laughs> so no longer boats, this is some ship fence. 
And then he killed the gods that told him to guide the buds, the Nilfgaardians. Then he was like, oh, we need to paint the fence. It's not looking good. So we went and bought him some paint and I think we painted like a chicken or something on it. No, not yet. I um, have been stalling a lot. I don't want it to end, but we are near the end. Unfortunately. He's just doing his best, right? Which is all you can do in this economy. Just do your best. Yeah, I love the trolls. They're cute. Oh. But also, like, I don't know if I did the right thing there because it looks like the troll attacked him in the tents. <laughs> like, they were trying to run away and then they ran into his cave unless something else chased them into his cave. Yeah, I don't know, but we fucked around and found out. And now I don't know what I'm going to tell the dad or whoever that was when he's like, well, oh, did you avenge them? No. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel movie. Tell me, Ash, were you sailing this time? Karak, give out one there to sell first. Jag's one thing, but what about the black ones and Unvik? I don't know what I'm going to say to him. What do you say? Oh, that one. Why well, won't you fuck a brain? Greetings, Watcher. Your miners are dead. Not one of you knew a troll lived there? We'd heard mention of it, but... But greed went out over reason. Not your place to judge us. What about the troll? Left him in peace. Advise you to do the same. <laughs> Turn card, you mean? What kind of monster... Oh, I'm not gonna get you? my money, but it's okay. Sight. Fair enough. Not too many foreigners in the aisles in the olden days. I got $50. That's fine. What's your favorite game at the moment, Witcher 3? Yeah, I would say this. Um, the games that I like, I like fantasy games. So Skyrim, I love Legend of Zelda games. Um, I love story driven. I love games that, you know, invite you to explore and look at, look around at pretty things. So yeah, that's my favorite game. What's your favorite game? Or genre or whatever. I love Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls games as well. Like Elden Ring, Bloodborne. Alright, back to the main quest. What's the time though? Oh my god, it's 130! We'll do a little bit. Um yeah, travel to the island where Avlak's laboratory is located. Find out if Avlak is hiding something. I guess those two go hand in hand. Oh, this is interesting. Little tiny island. Keep an eye on your toxicity level. <laughs> True. Kate, it was really nice to see you. Enjoy your day. Take care. Farewell. Farewell. Oh. Oh shit, okay. So there's a golem gods or whatever they're called. Wait, is that Siri? Entrance is very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk. Beautiful. Should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. 
And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. <laughs> now, now. This is no time to get soppy. Okay, RPG souls. Yeah, nice. I've been meaning to play Red Dead Redemption 2. <coughs> I think it, it'll be on my list soon. Yeah, nice choices. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try it. Yappa Ligon! She got it. She's a baddie. We've awoken the sentry. Oh, I'll God. <laughs> Are you looking forward to the Elden Ring DLC? Lurk away, ghostly. Hello. Do what you gotta do. Still playing RuneScape? Cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hmm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> the fact that you Very draw funny. with the scar is weird. I would be offended if someone drew me minus like a certain feature. I'm like, what the fuck? What does it mean? No, it seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow it doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? Verbena? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Verbena. This game looks so old, really? So it's almost 10 years old, but they graphically redid it maybe like a year ago. I think it looks really good. I mean, hopefully it looked as good on your end as, as mine. Explore Avalark's laboratory using much of sensors. It's gonna be a trap or something. Yen. Oh. What the heck? It's like a family tree? Long family tree, especially if they're elves, they live for Jamie hundreds of years. Chart of the oh, the elder, elder blood, blood. Okay. Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. 
He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Laura's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. <laughs> she looks shifty. It's so detailed, right? She looked Let's uncomfortable there, notes. like she was lying. Gods. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Siri, but it's here later that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ceres, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be <laughs> foolish. Avalach never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Oh, that was a weird glitch. Explore Avalok's laboratory, still. Let's see what Avalok's really planning. Alright. Yeah, I know what you mean. Just need some cigarette butts on it. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, my bad. Um, oh, right. Oopsies. Oh, the bed chambers. This Good night, Coastly. Take care. Thank you for hanging out. How did you get in here? Who are you? Who are you? Not your concern. Get out of here. Now. You. I remember you. From Tir Naliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. For example? Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. What do you fucking mean? She's gorgeous! I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What? Task. Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no She's choice but to one. use something like that? It's humiliating. What the fuck? She's not a girl's girl. Not the word, and I'll. What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Oh, yeah, I don't know what's up with her. Was she lying? How do I avoid killing Kira? Um, if you're talking about like out the front of that tower, you need to be... You can't get in an argument with her, so I killed her as well my first run, and then I reloaded. Just be overly nice, even though she doesn't deserve it because she's nasty. <laughs> Just be super nice. Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's a 
personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. What's he doing? Oh. Oh, I see what's happening. <laughs> They're going to break some stuff, let off some steam. It's going to be like with Carlac. Get it. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great scene. This is like the snowball fight scene. <laughs> Ronan, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Yen's not impressed. <laughs> oh, this is cute. <laughs> yeah, fuck your hundred year old books. Yeah, get into it, Yen. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, fair enough. <laughs> What's she gonna do with the family tree, though? It's so easy to subscribe. Just, Just click, click and then bang. Doctor, hello. He's here. Welcome in. Thank little you, champ. little champ. Thank you so much for twenty-one. Thank you. Thank you for that support. Good to have you. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they needed that. There, that's better. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm glad I picked that. I don't know what the other option was. Good one. Good stress relief. Harris Reed was the designer. Thank you, Lara. What did Yen do? Did she break some stuff? I saw she... She gave a little smirk like she approved and she kind of wanted to do something, but I didn't see her do anything. Oh my god, I gotta go look at the painting. Gotta go look at the painting. She draw a dick on his face. Actually, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm gonna look. I'm just gonna not look at chat till I see it. Oh, she drew a mustache. <laughs> that's what she did. Oh, that's a cool like Easter egg. Oh, thank you for telling me. I'm glad. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah, because I noticed in the cutscene she looked like she was up to some shit. Oh, good on her. Oh, that's great. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Meet Siri outside the laboratory. Oh, it's going to be a nice view. Yeah, they were my favorite panics. Just everything, everything about it. Let's see what Avalox. Oh. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindersfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... Oh, was he... What oh, is it? Siri. no. The one we did not Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Oh. No one survived? Skjall died later. Y 
You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. She Would did. you visit his grave with me? His body like looks changed after what she did. Goodbye. I'll go with you. Did we bury him? Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindusfjall? I can. So that guy, she fell from the sky and he saw her land in the water and rescued her. He was this sweet, naive guy and he basically saved her when the wild hunt came with the village and like everyone died, including his sister and like whole family. Um, and he held back the wild hunt while she got out of there. I thought he was going to run away. He was really sweet. We didn't end up, there was an option for Suri to kiss him. I don't think she did. I don't, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. But um, anyways, uh, Yennefer found his dead body. <laughs> and she did a bit of cheeky necromancy to get him to talk. Be like, what happened? Where's Suri? It was pretty graphic. This. Come back soon. All right. Mm -hmm. See you. Hopefully, I don't. I don't know. I don't. We'll see. We'll see. Let's look around. We should be able to take a fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. I don't like graveyards either. Graveyards, not my favorite either. Why not? Remind me of work. Never been to a cemetery to visit someone's grave. Always hunting some ghoul or rot fiend. <sighs> Frankly, I'd rather have come here with a contract to do some witch's work. Yeah, right, Dreamer. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? Oh, God. They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. Okay, so... Last time we saw him was a dead body in Freya's garden. Why? Why would you do that? That is horrible. What? Because, like, his whole family died. Like, you'd bury him with his whole family, surely. That is fucked. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defile our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Do they not know? Can we tell them? Skjall saved your bloody lives. Yeah. The wild hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the spectres be wanting of some lass who- I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Aye. None will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said- They thought he did that. Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now.
We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Did they think he was a well, deserter? They shouldn't spit on his name anymore. He must have. Let's go. But I don't know how they could have gotten that idea. Maybe because they saw him in the garden. They thought maybe he ran to hide in the garden. Because, yeah, last time Geralt and Yennefer saw him, he was in the garden, the dead body. And they're like, oh, what happened? But it was, yeah, okay. So I can see why, yeah, he was away from the fight. They could maybe come to that conclusion. Yeah. Because he, he was randomly in, where that werewolf in Freya's garden. Back to the boat. Mm-hmm. Well, that's interesting part of the story. I didn't expect to see or see him again. Do you know what I mean? It's bittersweet because we didn't really know him. He didn't really have a big part, but yeah, his death was really sad. Yet carries himself. So I'm glad we got to do that. Hi, Brad. You. Yes. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing uh, evening streams while my parents visit me. Just kind of do them when they're sleeping. Welcome in. Oh, I am freaking loving it. I don't want it to ever end. It's so good. It's so good. I hope you've been well. Thank you. All the better to hear you well. Yeah, I think they thought he was a deserter, so they put him with the dead sheep. Which, like, that's such an assumption! Whoa, 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 stop flexing like that, you're making me nervous. Oh, you mean? We looked around your laboratory. I never doubted you would. Why did you? You might have just asked me. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlikely. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing <laughs> to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. Yes, Geralt? You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer... ...that you'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Sure. Right. Understood. Is the Rose of Remembrance? Is that a gift from Gerald? <laughs> so, anyways, let's <laughs> not talk so about it. The Rose of Remembrance I gave you. In oh Flexen. my God, he did. Seems so long ago. Oh, she literally said, Probably "Drop it." So, <laughs> so sentimental value. Oh, that's why you kept it. Partly, <laughs> though, more as a warning. Oh. Been in Novigrad long. Long enough to know how not to get caught. And survive. And before you came here, so you come where here were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help too. Which <laughs> doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Oh, I love so Chris. Have a luck. Yes, Geralt. I went to your laboratory. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri, to protect Lara. Hey, why are you drawing him? In whomever's veins it courses. Who the fuck is Lara? So maybe you're hoping to gain control of Lara herself after all these years? Lara's dead. 
Mm. My only hope is that Siri will fulfill her calling and survive. Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet are going to see him. Laura. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Aridin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. So is there weird there hearing your name in like movies Great. or games or whatever? Now, right? Telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one. The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. Why are you helping you Siri? You imprisoned Siri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. Right? She found me. Not a common name. Yeah, sure. In, in, yeah, Get media. to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the elder blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eridin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So you would be wise to trust me. Mm. Or at least try. Charming world you and have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute? Painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous <laughs> landscapes, building ornately sculpted This sounds towers, pretty good. And then you murder us, oh. without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. How's Margarita? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst sorceresses, them. Sorceresses! From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Carrie. I like that name. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I... Brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. Usually is. <laughs> we found the sunstone. What are you getting a fucking criminal? Gail Barnes' gift to Dillion of the White Fleet. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit... Oh my god, I'm no not ready for that. Chat! Sorry, when I want help, I go, chat! If I do this, am I going to lose old quests? Like opportunities of picking up quests later on that I haven't picked up yet. But this makes me really nervous. I hate when games, I mean, I appreciate when games do this, but it also makes me really nervous. Oh, I'm good. Thank you, Snag. Thank you. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. Ooh, serious. Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and- Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish the to moment. avoid- Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. 
My name is a Maori name. Yeah. Probably call it soon. That's nice of you. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. Emperor's not stingy. What are you going to do? What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Mm -hmm. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers? Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliff. Sister? Good luck. I wish I was part of the lodge. I want to be a witch. I'm part of the witch girl squad. Element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Can't say you're wrong, but also you can't like order her around. Well, can't say you're wrong there. Huh. I thought I could at least count on you to treat me seriously. Never treat you any other way. You know that. You can't defeat Eridan. Don't stand a chance. Damn it, I don't know if I can. So stay away from him, far away. Cyril, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Do you swear? What the fuck? <laughs> Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can Yeah, but it would be really frustrating. She's a grown ass woman. Like, <laughs> let it do. But also, I. Mm. Didn't sound convinced. I'm on her side, but also, we do need but to keep I can't her safe. I well tie her up and teleport her away, can I? Hmm. Definitely advise against trying that. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't oh. get the chance later. I shall await you by the Oh boats. my god! The soldiers. It's getting serious. Yen, why are you here? To see you. Something happened? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. Um. She never finds jokes funny. If we say, oh, don't panic. I'm gonna go with the metal one. Just because she doesn't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Well, we she scares are here me. to battle Aridin and the Wild Hunt at full strength. Could be like Sodden. Could be worse. Nothing could be worse than Sodden was. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like oh. you to come with me. Oh. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. You? Dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start anew. I'll believe it when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. 
Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw having retained the upper hand. What then? A small secluded hut with a flower garden to tend to? Why not, if that is what you dream of? We shall leave together. Go where we please. Do whatever strikes our fancy. That's sweet. So? It's coming this with? This guy's snoring in the background. Of course. I'd go anywhere with you. The answer I was hoping for. Go, Geralt. Avalaka waits. Mm. And don't get killed, Witcher. Who's snoring in the background? Oh my god. Talk to Avalak when you're ready to fight. All right, guys and girls. I think I'm gonna call it there because it seems kind of important. Um. So next time we play, yeah, we're gonna get ready for the big fight. It sounds like it's uh, near the end, which is. I don't want it to happen. <laughs> well, thanks for watching and a special thank you to all my YouTube members. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and here's the full playlist of the series you're watching so far. All my other content is linked below if you'd like to check out.